So I wanted to come in and talk to you guys about my new hairstyle. This is, these are bomb twists. Um, they're literally called bomb twists. And I was looking on YouTube for inspiration. Like I saw, I saw this these twists on somebody on on the internet somewhere a while ago and I'm like, oh, those look really, really nice. I wonder what kind of twist they are. And I didn't see, like she didn't like say what it was, but I kind of looked in her hashtag, hashtag and it said bomb twist. So I started looking up bomb twist and I saw these really bouncy, springy twists. So spring twist, bomb twist, they kind of had the same feel. So I looked up spring twist and I think they're, I really do think they're kind of the same thing. However, I wanted to get the hair that was like, the hair that she had in her head because I love the way it looks. So I went online and I um, searched Bomb Twist and a website came up and I ordered it. I ordered three packs um, because I did find like a couple videos on YouTube talking about these twists, but it was not very much um, information. And some of the videos was like very, very bad lighting. I couldn't see the hair. I couldn't see what she was talking about. I didn't know what she was talking about. So I just wanted to make my own video about the hair. Um, I had a little clip of me doing it, so you can see how I did it. It's very easy. I just, if you can look close, I just, like like you'll do any individual braid, I just kind of braided it and then I started twisting it. The good thing about the way you do this hair is that you don't have to rope twist, you don't have to like pull it tight, you don't have to wrap the hair and twist it, you just twist one strand over the other don't matter which direction you go and it's gonna come out really nice it's really easy to do um, and it took me it took me a while to do I want to say it took me I started um, don't really remember today but I know I sat pro probably for like eight hours doing it doing it and then I finished the front the top the top part of the front the next day and I spent like four or five hours doing that part so it took me a while to finish it I'm not gonna lie it didn't take me it wasn't a quick hairstyle but it wasn't a very long hairstyle either. Also, I wasn't rushing, I wasn't moving really fast, I was doing my own hair, I was watching TV, I was taking breaks. So yeah, it took a while to do it, but it wasn't like strenuous or anything like that. But I really, really, really love the results of it. At first, when I first finished, I was like, this hair is too full, it's too big. And I had, I ordered three packs, and I did end up using two, and almost the whole third pack. This is what I have left. So I did end up using two and three fourths of, of a pack of hair. So I almost used three packs of hair and I was like, maybe I used too much hair. I was splitting the hair in half and I was like doing each twist with one half of the strand. So this is what the strand looks like. It looks like this. And I swear to you, when I see it, I always think about Shanene. It makes me think about Shanene from Martin. If you know Martin, it make me think about Shanene's hair because she used to always have that springy hair in her head that's just bouncing all over the place. But anyway, so I just took the hair and I kind of like stretched it out really, really good. And once you stretch it out, you'll see it start to separate. And where it started to separate, I just kind of pulled it apart. And sometimes if I felt like one was too skinny and one was not thick enough, you know, I'll separate it again. But I used this made one twist and this made another twist so each strand made two twists you can separate it further and get more twists out of the strands I'm sure it will still come out very very full um, if you don't like it this full I would recommend that you do big parts bigger parts because I did relatively relatively I didn't really part I kind of like picked up and and went but they're, they're still relatively kind of on a small side so if you don't want it to look really full do bigger parts um, and keep the same amount of hair. Like do, do bigger parts and keep the same half of a strand in it and I guarantee you it'll come out just as good but it just won't be as big and full. Um, or you can do one strand, one full strand and just part it out thicker, part your hair out thicker so you'll have less twist on your head um, and it'll still be really thick and full when you use a full strand of hair. Um, the hair itself costs $10.99 per pack. And like I said, I ordered three. Um, I'll link the website down below from where I got the hair. I think it was 
started with an H, to whatever it was, it started with an H. I'll link it down below so you guys can go check it out if you want to purchase the hair. Um, it took, the shipping wasn't, wasn't slow, it was like relatively normal shipping. I think it took about five days for it to get to my house. However, I didn't, I had this hair sitting in my closet for months because I just, I don't know, I just wasn't prepared to do it. Um, so I finally did it and I love it. Like I really, really love the way it came out. Um, I'm going to, the, the thing about this hair is so fluffy, it's so big. It's kind of hard to manipulate it and put it in different styles. However, um, you know, I'm about that life. I can do that. I can like, I can make the impossible possible when it comes to hair. Um, so I'm going to really work on creating some hairstyles with this, with these twists because I'm not just, I can't just wear it down all the time. Like that ain't, that ain't me. So I'm going to find some ways to like wear it up and wear it in different styles. And when I do, I will record those different hairstyles that I come up with and share it with you guys. So that if you do decide that you're going to rock you some bomb twists, um, you'll have some hairstyles that you can look or, or some place to go to look for some hair inspiration. Now I will say, I will definitely be making a video, a very quick video of just how to gather all of this into a ponytail because I was struggling when I first finished it I'm like I want to put it in a ponytail and I, I swear to you I couldn't figure out how to put this hair in a ponytail because it's really hard to like gather it all up because it's just so much hair but I finally figured a very easy way to get it all into one ponytail so I'll do that even though that seems so simple but it was a challenge for me so I'm sure it'll be a challenge for somebody else if they want if they were doing a hairstyle and they wanted to be like, I want to put this in one ponytail and it's not working. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm going to come up with some other hairstyles. And when I do, like I said, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what those hairstyles look like. And how you can do them on yourself. Um, yeah, that's all I really had to say. Just wanted to come in and talk to you guys about this hairstyle. Show you guys the hair that I use. Um, and show you guys a quick snippet of what it looked like to install this beautiful gorgeous hair um i hope that it lasts for a long time i'll let you guys know how long it lasts for me and if the hair held up or whatever so i'll come back and check in and i'm sorry if i'm not looking at the camera because i have the viewfinder out and sometimes it's just not easy to look at the lens when you can see yourself so i'm looking at myself and not the lens but anyway yeah um i'm gonna get up off the off this camera because I don't have anything else to say i'm just gonna start rambling so whenever i find figure out the hairstyles i'm gonna come in and i'm definitely gonna share that so peace stay beautiful stay positive stay blessed